this is the drive wheel right here. The drive chain sits in these little grooves here and that those grooves allow the chain to transmit the force to the wheel. From there, there's a shaft which runs through the entire thing to a gear which sits right in the middle on this side, which drives these two gears here. That's the first reduction. This gear is connected to this gear here, this smaller gear, which drives a gear that's in the center of the mechanism here. That's the last reduction. Now notice this gear, the small one, only has four teeth. That's a pretty low number of teeth. And what happens actually, when it rotates to a certain angle, there's no tooth engaged here. And how it can get away with that is that on the other side, there's a gear that's 90 degrees off offset. So when this gear is not engaged, this gear is. A pretty tricky way to get around that. A low force and high travel input goes to a low travel, high force output. There's one more thing I want to point out, which is this ratchet, which is in between here. It's actually on this side. You can see it in there and there's these teeth right along there. As I rotate it, you can hear it click. That prevents the load from back driving the input. As you back drive it by hand, there's a clutch in here, which disengages that ratchet wheel and allows you to turn the, turn the wheel backwards and lower the load.